Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's gonna be a real quick one, but we're gonna talk about the folder structure inside of DaVinci Resolve for when you're creating your own templates and title sequences and things like that. So to start with, I've got this really, really, really simple animation inside of Fusion and I'm going to export it in two different ways. So I'm going to select these and I'm going to just export it out as a macro. And so this one would be for if I was creating my own title sequence that I wanted to use in the edit page. And so I'm just gonna quickly, just gonna save this out to the desktop and we're just gonna call it simple title. So that saved a dot settings file, which is this one here, simple title dot setting that we can use to open in the edit page over here in our effects library under titles so that we can use it in multiple different videos. So now we're gonna export another settings file just by right clicking them, going settings and save all as. And we're gonna save it to the same thing. We're just gonna call it title example. The idea behind it is that this one's going to be accessible inside the effects library inside of Fusion. So with all that done, we're going to exit out of DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you how the file structure works. Now, obviously I'm on a Mac here. It's gonna be a little bit different on a Windows PC, but apart from this little start part, it's more or less the same. So on a Windows, you'd be under local disk program files and then look for DaVinci Resolve, but we're on a Mac, so we're just gonna go applications. Then we're going to show package contents on DaVinci Resolve, go to contents, go to resources, and then go to Fusion. And then from here, we're gonna go over to Templates. And this is where both of these files go. So the easiest way to look at this is the Edit folder is everything accessible in the Edits tab, and the Fusion folder, everything accessible in the Fusion tab. And if we open the Edits folder up, you notice we have a Title folder. And this is where we can drag all the titles. So we're gonna grab the first one that we created, so the simple title. We're just gonna drag that into that titles folder and everything put in this folder all the dot settings files will become drag and drop title templates inside of davinci resolve now going to the next folder which is fusion you'll notice we have a lot of different folders and that's because every effect and generator that we can use inside of fusion is here and here we can create our own folders so if we wanted to create a you know a titles folder we can if we want to create a call out folder we can and then we can just drag the dot settings file into whichever one we want. And so any folder here is going to appear in DaVinci Resolve. So let's open that up and show you how that looks. With Fusion Open, if we go to the effects library and we go to the templates drop down, and this is a direct representation of what we were just looking at in the file browser, you'll see that we have our titles folder here. Now the callouts folder that we created hasn't populated and that's because, well, there's nothing in there, so it's not going to populate. But here we have our title example and we can drag that down into our node tree and we're gonna have everything that we exported out and you know, it works perfectly, animation and everything. So that's how that works. And if we were to put something in the callouts folder, then the callout thing would appear here and very easy to access. Now, if we jump back to the edit page, you'll notice under titles, if we scroll down under fusion titles, it'll be in alphabetical order. You'll see that simple title is there and we can drag that down. Everything that we just brought across from Fusion is now viewable there as well. So you can see it's not as complicated as you might think, although it is quite hard to get to this particular file structure. Once you're there, it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got the edit tab and then we have our Fusion tab. The edit tab, you chuck everything into the titles folder and everything just sits in there nice and neatly. And then with the Fusion one, you can create your own folders inside of there and put your settings files in there and organize it whichever way you want. But that is how they show up inside of Fusion. So if you have created your own effects, that is where you can put them. So just a really quick video to explain how that all works. So hopefully it was helpful. And if it was, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. But until the next one, guys, see ya.